that entrance though. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna change this chair because last time it was squeaking so much and it annoyed me. Okay, okay, better chair. Well, I have reached 1,000 subscribers, which is insane because I had 100 subs in January and I was like, wow, I've reached 100 people and now I've reached 1,050. A little out of breath from moving the chair. I'm really unfit. That's a bit cringe, isn't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna breathe. 1,000 subscribers. This channel has really kind of surpassed all my expectations so if you're a new sub or if you're an old sub that's always been supporting me and watching me, thanks very much. Honestly, this is so cool and I'm really excited to see where we can go together. Stop. Mm. Right, well, I've got something exciting today and I was thinking now I'll just reveal it to you but it's obviously in the title so you already know. I'm gonna try gouache, gouache, gouache. Gouache? I'm gonna call it gouache. <laughs> I have never painted with gouache before. Even though it is supposed to be... Gigi is eating. What is this? He knows that I'm doing this. I swear. We'll just wait for his majesty. I have heard it being referred to the child of watercolour and acrylic. Acrylic we know dries kind of like a plastic so you cannot reactivate it with water. Watercolours are, you use a lot of water with them and they dry, you can't, you can kind of reactivate them but not really but these ones basically once they dry you can go over them again with water and you can use a lot of water to make them more watery coloury or not that much water to make them very um, pigmented and thick like acrylic. And and I don't know why I've never tried them before because I love watercolours and when I was younger acrylic was primary paint that I used all the time. Having a little combination of both is really cool and I've always wanted to try them. So um, as a reward for reaching 1000 subscribers we got some, we got me some gouache. <laughs> and let's take a little look at these little bad boys shall we? And we got a free one as well. <laughs> Bonus paint! Oh my gosh, look at them, so fine. Oh yeah, oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, it comes with a little pamphlet. These are 45 colors that it doesn't come with, so thank, thanks for that, I guess. So let's try some out. Because I'm a professional artiste, I don't have a palette for paints, so I'm gonna use just this, um, terracotta bowl thing and then maybe mix some paints and I can reactivate stuff when I need to. Blob, the spectrum of the colour wheel. Ooh, that one was, that's a thick boy. Especially looking forward to using white as a highlight thing because obviously they're super opaque so you can just um, build them up. What I wanted to do was work from lights to darks like I would normally do with um, watercolours and I just wanted to try out like how it would layer and kind of how opaque those lighter tones would be on top of like dark ones. Obviously this is all nonsense so it's just messing around really. Hello everybody, it's time for Voice Over Steph. So what I was doing here is I'm recreating a old painting that is in my sketchbook because I thought it would be easier to do that than to just kind of do something completely new because it's a medium I haven't worked in before so it would be better to just kind of rely on an old drawing that I knew that I liked a little bit. Here I am just deciding what colour her hair should be. I was thinking for a long time that I was going to keep it just white as per the original illustration but then I thought hey we've got gouache and yes I think I said that correctly this time. Well we've got gouache so it's time to do something a little bit different and I wanted to really try out like skin tones and hair colours and do those kind of really opaque colours that gouache is known for. It turned out quite good, I quite liked it. For the end of this video I'm kind of down on myself but I think it's because I must have been tired because I actually like the way this came out a lot more now looking back on it and I'm pretty proud of it considering that I considered it quite um, a stiff learning curve to begin with. I'm just used to the paint just easily flowing whereas this medium is rigid sometimes obviously when you don't add the water to it but I think it really worked. This piece, I definitely want to do more. I want to do some like underwater studies, maybe different things. I think I've spoken a lot already about like the medium, so there's not much more left to say on that. 
but just recreating these plants and having fun with the paints. I did that giant moon blob in the sky and it kind of just looks like it's growing out of that or it's just stuck on that tree there. So I don't know why I did that. I don't mind it. In the end it looks alright because I kind of um, blend it out. Well, is blending the right term? I just, I add a lot of brush marks around it in the end, so. Um, I go over it and do more detail around the girl's face and stuff. I think it looks like her arms are kind of being chopped off a little bit. So I wish I had painted those a little bit better, but I think the skin, the skin tone I was really struggling with at first because I was thinning it out too much. So it was just becoming like this runny mass on the paper and I was like, what am I doing? This isn't gonna turn out as well as I hope. But when it dries, the paint dries much lighter and that was something that I had seen somebody speak about before but I hadn't really considered until I had put it into practice myself. So the skin tone looked a lot murkier beforehand and then it dried really nice, like lighty pink color. So I think that's something to keep in mind if you try gouache in the future is that everything is going to be a little bit brighter and apparently the darks dry darker. I'm not really sure how that works. So here's the final project. Okay, all finished. Um, it kind of took longer than expected. It was a very steep learning curve. I wanted to repaint this because I just wanted to try out gouache and see if I could recreate it. It was a massive learning curve, even though I used to paint a lot with acrylics when I was younger. I don't know. I think I obviously prefer watercolors because those are the medium I use, but I really, I liked using them. I definitely use them for more stuff in the future and tell me what you guys think do you like this i don't know Ooh, artsy shot of my palette it's not really a palette but you know i was moved out of my chair for one second one second <laughs> so after a few hours later that's the end of my first try of gouache let me know what you guys thought. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. That's it really. So let me know what you guys think. Um, please like and subscribe for more and I will see you next time. Bye.